guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing brows. We're gonna be doing a little brow tutorial. I'm going to be explaining on how I do my brows and also some tips on how you can do your brows. Of course, not all brows are the same, so just keep that in mind. Brows are not twin sisters. They are sisters and more than half the time they are distant cousins. So um, with that being said, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment your video. So what I'm gonna be using today, um, I like using different products uh, depending on what kind of brow I'm trying to achieve. So if you have sparse areas, and what that means is you don't have a lot of hair in certain areas. So like for me, I have a pretty full brow already. I just like you um, giving it shape. Um, but if you do have sparse areas or bald spots, um, I recommend going in with a pomade. One product that I really like recommending is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Um, it is one of my go-to products because it helps fill in those areas where you don't have hair. And if you use a thin enough brush, you can do like hair like stroke. Right now, what I've been using um, is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, shade six. The Goof Proof Brow Pencil, it looks like this. I just took the lid off, but it looks like this. And this is like, you have to twist it. And then this is the, um, this is what it looks like. At the other end is the spoolie end. This end is going to help basically spread the product throughout your brow. Um, this is gonna be your best friend. If, and I'm gonna explain step by step on how I use the pencil on my brows. I'm going to start by brushing the hairs up because we're gonna go underneath the brow. We're starting at the bottom of the brow in the mid section here and brushing it out as we go. We're slowly going to bring it to about right here. What I'm trying to achieve for the most part is a soft brow. So I'm gonna take the spoolie end and brush it in, not out, okay? And now what I'm gonna be doing is going in the brow and just softly. When you're doing this, you wanna be as soft as you can unless you're trying to achieve a bold, bold brow. Um, that's usually not what I tend to do. I like my brow a lot more soft. And so I'll go in with a light hand and just brush. Still on the bottom side, and you're just gonna slowly follow. I'm still underneath the brow, and I'm slowly brushing. Right here is where my angle is, or the highest point of my brow is going to be, but I'm still underneath. So I'm just slowly still trying to um, do light strokes in that area. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna brush the brow down like this and still follow the natural brow. Now keep in mind, yes, you're gonna look a little crazy, yada, 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 but this is what you need to do in order to have a good brow. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start at the top and very lightly again, just brushing that in. We still have our eye a brow brush down and we're just gonna go in and still brush it out with the spoolie side. Down. Okay, so your brow should look a little now keep in mind, remember that not everybody has the same brow. So your brows are not going to be the same as mine unless you have that same shape. Okay. 
All right, so there is our brow. At least the outline of it, the basis of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow now. Brush it up, brushing the brow all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, 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 up. This is a clean brush and it's just a little, I don't know why I keep squinting. So it's like this. And I'm just using it to clean up the brow. Okay, so sometimes when you go in, you're gonna mess up, especially when you're thinking about it too much, obviously. You know, it's kind of like when you're doing wing eyeliner and you like keep going. I was going for natural brows and look what I ended up with. Okay, so now that our eyebrows are dick, dick. <laughs> Thick as French toast. <laughs> Just when I thought I was gonna make a very, very good eyebrow video. Look guys, usually my brows, I'm able to just half the time. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean them up because if I keep going in, we're just gonna freaking end up like a biscuit show. So I'm going to go in with um, the MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix Concealer in NW28. It looks like this. Um. <laughs> so I went to MAC today and I got a bunch of goodies thanks to their sales rep, Samantha at MAC. I was able to get a bunch of goodies. I don't know if she was low-key trying to just make sell. But she made me feel extra beautiful. So you know what? Thank you, Samantha. So next we're going to get that concealer and we're going to go ahead and start cleaning up the bottom half. What I always do is I'll go in and I will make dots under my eyebrow and then I'll start carving it out. Once we line it up, we're gonna start brushing down and basically blending it into the rest of the eyelid. Now that we lined the brow, it looks like this, of course. We're going to start blending that concealer down to the eyelid. That way there's no harsh line. We're just going to brush it down, brush it down, brush it down, brush it down. Our brow's going to look like somewhat like this, and it's going to look crazy. Just take a step back so you can analyze how everything's looking. So right now I can tell that there's an area right here that is too low. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. I go like this and then I slowly and gently, gently brush the concealer into the beginning of the eyebrow because I don't want the beginning of my eyebrow to be so harsh and in your face. But this is a little bit more darker, especially since I went in um, a little bit more deeper towards this area and then also since I cleaned up the top. Um, so this is what somewhat your brow is going to be looking like. You can always go in and just clean up a little more. So what I'm going to go ahead and do since this brow is done is I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to this brow. Alright guys, so this is the end result of the brows. Um, of course, 
like I said at the beginning of the video, your eyebrows aren't always twins. Um, in this case, today, my eyebrows are distant cousins. It happens, but this is the basis of how I do my brows and how I detail them to make them look natural. Now, God bless to those people who have the most perfect eyebrows because they're full. All they have to really do is keep up with them and it looks perfect. As with me, I have to fill them in because I'm not comfortable with my eyebrows. They'd be looking kind of messed up and busted some days. So with that being said, um, this is the eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and get closer to the camera so you can see. And just keep in mind, I did say that I was gonna go a little natural, but I did get a little frustrated with them and I did press a little harder when I was trying to straighten them out. Um, Lord Jesus, thank you for helping me throughout this video because I tried without breaking anything. This was definitely not as easy as I thought it was gonna be because usually I'm able to do my brows or maybe it's just a bad brow day. I'm really not sure. But um, like I said, if y'all wanna see more videos, just let me know, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.